Hello, here's a quick Houdini tutorial on how to use the Houdini instancer. And I use this on lights a lot actually because uh, uh, lights are in the OBJ level here and there's no like copy to point node here. So we'll just make a light to uh, demonstrate this with and then um, create an instance uh, node. And it comes in pretty boring like, so we're gonna just click up here. Uh, for all the different shapes and holding control you could click on one of these funky shapes um, and I turn that off again now every time you create an instance it will be defaulted to that shape because we held control uh, to do that um, so the way this works is you simply just click on it and in instance um, you'll see the first line here it's an instant object all we do is we just drag drag what we want instance in there. So I just dragged it, uh, our light into there and then full point instancing is what I'm going to select. And inside, and then we just double click the instance node and inside here you, you'll see there's a number of points. There's uh, one point in zero, zero, zero. So we could move that. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, our light has moved. And then we could go back to our instance, we could add more points. And you can simply move these around as you want. And you can see um, it's uh, creating an instance each each place where there's a point in. But we're Houdini artists, we don't do things manually. Uh, so you're wondering like, why am I adding all these points manually one by one? Um, yeah, so let's just delete these because we're not we're not doing this. So the way that I do this is I would usually have my working geometry folder here. Just add some uh, basic objects. Uh, pick a color. And we just call this uh, right now none of this matters to you, uh, this is just kind of like your project. Let's pretend it looks like this. It could be anything in here, it'll work the same. Uh, but what we want to do is create a group, um, a group, a point group, uh, and then so that we could copy our lights to where the points are. And we'll call this Insta1. And then out here in the instance uh, node, if you double click in there, uh, we could create an object merge. Object merge node, we could connect that in. And then um, here we just have to, under object one, we just pick, uh, we go to our working uh, geometry folder and we pick, uh, we'll just pick the final node. And under groups, uh, we wanna just pick pick the group that is for our lights, but instead of like insta underscore one, I would put insta asterisk to make it a wild card. So any group with the word insta in front of it will um, will be selected for instancing. So now you can see we have a, our instances set up. I would kind of create a backdrop for this, call it light instance, just to keep these together because these are together. And then, um, yeah, so now anytime you do anything here, let's say we could go into our group, we could uh, just manually select some points and it's only gonna instance those points. Then we could just copy this, we could make this group Insta2. We could merge, merge that together. Uh, your group can get more complicated here. We could delete this. Let's add a sphere. Let's make it bigger. And we can just move it around a bit. And you're just doing your normal project stuff. And, and anytime you know you need a light somewhere, uh, you just kind of make a group for it. These ones are getting manually selected. Uh, you don't need to manually select. You could 
for example, do group by range. Let's group by range, merge that into there. Let's call this Insta range and uh, we have to change it to points because uh, that's how it's going to work. So let's just select these ones and that gets merged into here. And I spelled that wrong, that's why it's not working. There we go. See, so now um, any you really don't have to worry about this anymore. It's all set up. All you have to do is here and just um, just work on making these groups and they'll automatically always work in your instance. And just for demonstration, I do want to touch base on one more thing. So let's just create a box. And instead of our light, let's just uh, instance our little box. So you'll notice the orientation isn't following the sphere very well um, but that's because um, you need normals for your points um, otherwise we'll default them to the orientation so if we create a normal node here and we change the add normals to points then you see it starts to follow the the shape of your object more and that's if you're using like rectangle lights or things that matter about the orientation and uh, yeah, it's great. It's set up. Uh, you can set up multiple of these. Let's say they're different color light. You could, you could um, just pick different groups for uh, different colors. Just copy these around, and it's quite useful that way. It's uh, once it's set up, it's it's just very quick to uh, maintain it. And uh, yeah, that's a huge benefit of that. So, so that's the tutorial, and I I hope you do some uh, really cool things with that. Um, thank you.